Joanne Lee is a playful woman by nature, so it comes as no surprise that this developmental psychologist would find ways to incorporate fun and games into her research. Lee's work focuses on cognitive development and early childhood education. In the Child Language and Math Lab at Wilfrid Laurier University, Lee studies developmental changes in numeracy and geometry in young children. Initially interested in psycholinguistics, she turned her attention to mathematics after watching her 16-month-old son playing with numbers. He was counting from 1 to 10, and that moment after 10, he looked at me with his innocent eyes. Like, Mom, what's next? What is after 10? After her experience with her son, Lee was determined to find out just how much parents were engaging in math activities with their children. Her research has shown that parents and caregivers generally focus their activities around literacy and naming rather than math. As parents with young kids, we often forget, we neglected the math part. We always, you know, we are always engaged in, oh, this is a bird, this is a car. But we forgot to actually incorporate math talk. We have chosen to focus on first three years of life, or first four because this is the area where there's not enough research and not enough program to help parents. Her findings also demonstrate that toddlers understand certain mathematical concepts better than we give them credit for. When presented with the option of one cookie versus two cookies, most infants will choose two, demonstrating an understanding of more and less. With this knowledge, Lee and her collaborator, Donna Katsopoulos, have designed Little Counters, an early numeracy program for children between one and four years old. Its purpose is to help parents integrate counting and mathematical concepts into their daily activities to nurture their child's developing brain. Little Counters, basically our philosophy is, it's a math program to help caregivers and parents to instill math talk and math activity using very simple things, toys, games, songs, books and even Cheerios. We often forget that the fingers are actually their visual cues to represent numbers. During Winterlude's Cool Science Saturday event, held at the Canada Science and Technology Museum in Ottawa, Lee gave curious parents a demonstration on play-based learning and math talk. Most of the time when the child fails, it's all the parents' fault, right? Oh, you didn't do enough. You know, I didn't do enough. So we, don't want, we want to get out of this mindset. We want to empower parents. And research studies have shown parents actually have no clue. They actually indicated that they have no clue. They really don't know what to do to introduce math games or math play into the, you know, their daily lives. But little counters actually give them that, oh, I never thought about it, the tips and pointers. Lee encourages parents to engage their children in purposeful play early on and to choose activities that will help children as young as 12 months old acquire a strong foundation in math. The Little Counters sessions introduce parents to useful games that revolve around math. These activities teach parents to go beyond simple rote counting to initiate concepts such as cardinality, how many in a set in total, ordinality, which number comes first, second, third, and the internal number line, counting from the child's left to right. She stresses the importance of observation so parents can assess their child's skill level. If they see their child understands the concept of three, they can move on to five, then 10, and so on. Lee hopes to expand her research beyond the Kitchener-Waterloo area. This summer, she and Katsopoulos will bring little counters to Ontario Early Years Centers, where the program will be introduced to First Nations communities and low-income families. She also hopes to train early childhood educators across Canada. First, I hope all parents, especially those who are actually math-phobia or have math anxiety, will discover that math is actually fun. Learning math in a very fun manner could help to, to lay the foundation for 
their children's first few years of life.